This is Mario Moretti Poligato. Net worth, according to Forbes, $1.8 billion, going for a whirl on a period Ducati motorbike at his villa near Treviso. It's here that the family business traces its roots. The winery has been going strong for 70 years, and it was that occupation, as winemaker, that took Poligato to Reno, Nevada in the late 1980s on a business trip. A walk in the nearby desert inspired him to invent not a new kind of grape, but a rubber sole shoe. They suffer uh, in my feet about the breathability. And in my pocket, I have uh, a knife, a Switzerland's knife uh, with a red color. And uh, with this, uh, I cut the holes in right and left part of the sole, and I create the ventilation. Back on Italian soil, Poligato came up with a way to keep open the soles while keeping out the rain. I introduced a special insole we call membrane, it is waterproof and breathable in same time. I offer uh, this uh, technology to the large company in um, footwear in Italy, in Germany, in America. But incredible, nobody believed in me. So Poligato, believing in himself, developed Geox into a fully-fledged business, starting in Italy with design technology, materials like leather, automated production and testing, and the final touch, retail. Now Geox makes its shoes all over the world and has more than 1,100 own brand stores. But Poligato's company may be too tied to old markets, with 80% of sales coming from slow growth Europe. The European market is quite mature, hugely competitive. Geox is still struggling to expand into growing markets like the Far East. One customer close to home still keeps the faith, and Geox keep him in his loafers. Caroline Hyde, Bloomberg.